<laughs> Hello and welcome. I am the Fiend. And this is a game I've had on my radar for quite a while. It's called Path of Acra. It's an odd game. I'm still not even sure how I'm going to describe it in the title. I'm sure you'll obviously see it. Uh, just going to jump right in. There seems to be different modes. This, The path mode seems to be the primary mode. And it's an RPG character based game. I believe you get to choose a character. So it says choose culture, class, and religion. So we could be a Naki. Citizen of the mountain, Temple Lands, practices an empower ritual, empowering ritual of attunement. A warrior, a haughty mercenary, trained to fight close range. A Humbaba, the god of war, bloodshed, awards the amplification of rage. Ashram, the god of discipline and cosmic sanctity, awards correct ritual procedure. Amir, a battle chief, leads devout followers of the on the path of Acra. Strand, a wanderer on the eastern desert, guarded by a loyal woolly beast. So these are your cultures, your classes, and your religion. Like, you could change your class, your, your culture, to be like a Naki, and that changes, like, the way you look. Or you could be, like, a, an Amir, or you could be a warrior, and this is your, your god. So Humbaba is the god of war here. He gives us more strength and speed, but this guy gives us... It's kind of all around. On Prairie gives us apply three grace to yourself. Amir gets to summon in nomads. Okay. So he's kind of like a leader type of character. And there is obviously a lot of other races and classes to play. So we're just gonna start. This is what's been recommended for us. So it says your journey begins by pressing tab, right click to perform auto moves. This pink or purple, sorry, lets you acquire new powers. Purple hand. Your glory rises. Choose, choose an attribute to increase. Uh, as we seem to be particularly good at dodging. And it seems like armor. We'll get some dexterity, which is a fatally foolish move. So this is a two-gar ally and a nomad ally. Seems like if we right-click, we attack using what are we using? You hit the hobgoblin, you pierce the hobgoblin for 33. And these guys, they both rose. We can attack again. He moved towards him. And so I think it said you could tab and right click. And it'll just do auto attacks. So we beat that fucking guy to death. We left mouse to move our character. And our two guard is chilling. These hobgoblins are pretty much no match for us. Uh, I'm just what questioning what we are carrying. Look, I, we could see what we have. I think we have a sling spear. Too handy. Hi. So we're throwing a pile, which is like a sh short spear, kind of like a throwing javelin. But we can't get to him because that's a wall there. So we can only go through this way, like that. See, two guard here. He has to. He has to beat this guy, or we can attack across. Okay. So we go like that. And I think we're leveling up. I don't know where to check our... Oh, that's our experience right there. So we're moving along the way. Yeah, get out of the way, Tugar. Yeah, goddamn Tugar. And our name is Pesic. This game is pretty interesting and weird. Like, if you don't know what's going on with the UI, don't be afraid. Because I really don't seem to either. Like, I'm sure there's plenty of things I'm missing. But for the most part, it seems pretty self-explanatory. So this is the exit of the floor. We right-click on that to go down. So Tugar is here with us. 
there's a green worm for 600 health. He has three range. He's got accuracy of 60. He hits with 50 fire. He's got some pretty good speed, some pretty good dodge, and no armor. So, we're going to throw a pile at him. We hit him. We did 63 damage. Now, my question is the pylum running out? I do not believe it runs out. I hope it does not. Alright, keep throwing. So he has a pierce move. Can I click on him? No, I just can't. He dodged that, looks like. Right? How do I check? Yeah, yeah. So I can see there. No man attacks the green. The green worm burns to gar. So he's, he hit two gar. This game is really interesting. So I'm lucky or unlucky that I never got to play games like this as a kid. But very lucky now that people are making new and interesting versions of games like this. So technically we could tab and right click and just yeah. We know we're gonna win. Um, and knowing what our attack is, willpower 10% damage dealt divided by flexibility. 10% healing. I think dexterity is probably something we just want to keep going with because we have the pylum. We're, we're like a long range guy anyway. Ooh, what the pizzle? Did you just jump to the end of the loop? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I guess that was like the boss of that floor. Throw the cleaver at this guy. Or the, uh. Oh! <laughs> That's a lot of hobgoblins. We got a lot of hobgoblins. God damn, there's a lot of hobgoblins. Buck them up, Tugar. But we were pretty accurate with our. Yeah. So, like, this keeps adding more accuracy. Strength adds more life and block. So, we might as well add a little bit of that so that in case we get hurt. And see, that opens up the floor there. We can walk over the Pine Cleaver. You pick up a Pine Cleaver, a great sword of incredible force. If we go to inventory, we're using that. Our support hand, main hand, is two-handing. So we basically only have one weapon in our hand. And these are our clothes. This is what's... Oh, okay. So these are our, like, skill points. We can look at these specific upgrades. So we have guard, agility, pugilism. May not. On being hit, perform a number of extra attacks against an adjacent enemy. Okay. Technique, martial art element. Martial element, stand ground. What about ranged attacks? Projection, astral projection. This is quite the game. This is, you know, the problem is, I don't know if I'm smart enough for a game, for a game like this. How do I summon allies? Death element on de self damage. Apply bat form to yourself. I don't want to turn into a bat. I want to summon bats. If enemy. Okay, channel death. What do we necromesis? Death element unknown. Boss 2 to learn. On hit, deal death damage to target. On being healed, deal death damage to the closest enemy. So each point spent in death grants you 2% death resistance. We're going to learn that. Okay, we can... So we're on the next level of that, and then... Cursed Flesh. On enemy death, heal yourself, deal death damage to two adjacent enemies. Let's learn that. Master Doom. On ally or enemy death, apply Doom to yourself. On being attacked, what is Doom, though? You no longer take damage from any source triggered by Doom. So Doom applied equals 10 times the skill level. Or, that seems what it is. What about this one? Sonic Cadaver. <laughs> 
see what we got there and then summer summon a number of death I have no clue what I've just done but we're gonna go in there and just try it out so recite the med blah 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 recite the Yazada our ally is zero out of four Oh, is determined by willpower. Press to command your summon allies to either hold their positions or attack. Attack, okay. And my powers are, I think, just like there, yeah, so light priests. We've got a fucking light priest with us now. Okay, you gaze upon the dune sea. You sense there is an unusual silence. A strange light flickers in the distance. Erga guards raid here. You will find a blood cultist robe. You summon a blight for each time three. You take a step and you walk the path. Okay. So. Right? Okay, I, I see. You just have to move forward in that general direction. I want to see what my boys do. So, you apply one doom to the nomad. You curse the blight. <laughs> so, it looks like we just hurt ourselves a bunch. But I want to see. Did we heal? Yes, I think we did. Yes, we're healing on kills. Cadaver ally. So we just got this guy. He deals 80 de death damage. So I think he's like a zombie? Seems like a zombie. Oh, there's another enemy there. Get him. Get him, my cadavers. Damn, that must be rough. So we're basically a necromancer. Like, straight out the bat. And I don't even think that's like part of our class. Get him. Get him. So every time these blight priests kill somebody, I don't think it counts in two gar. Yeah. Right? You summon the cadaver. Blight priest. So I think that I'm the one who's just in charge of it all. Is the blight priest attacking me? What are you doing? Get out. I know they're going to be the cause of my death, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but at the same time, Necromancy or whatever, Necrotelekinesis, <laughs> name is familiar. Your glory rises. Let's upgrade our willpower so that we can have one more. Yes, we've got two nomads. So it's willpower that we want, not... Uh, whatever we were doing before. What are these things that were Ergo Guards? So they seem to be like demon soldiers of some sort. On the ground we find a robe of gore. A blood cultist robe. Now. What's my bag? How do you... Okay, so this... Does plus 10 armor, plus 1 encumbrance, 0 flexibility, resist blood. On dealing damage to an, an ally, deal 25 blood damage to the closest enemy. Fine, clear it. Ne neither of these are good. We can sacrifice them. Sacrifice. I don't know what that did for us, but I like sacrificing things. Okay, so we've moved forward. All right, you gaze upon the green tower. So this is like the green tower. This is the Dune Sea, Dune Sea. We're gonna go to the green tower because it seems cool. You sense the rocks are smeared with dung. A terrible stench. Zindig wanders here. There is a rumor of the martyrs, marauders adorned in gold. Bramble priests wander here. You see a horrific statue made of dung. It is in the shape of a crown. You'll find a curved blade enchanted with death. Ooh, a mighty horned helm. A heavy chest plate of bright 
emerald, a skirt of clinking bones. A great axe fashioned with sacred gold. We're fucking going here, dog. We got the army. Go get them, rogue priest or whatever, black priest. Bramble priest. So these guys are poison boys and Zendik. He is the major enemy of this area. Oh man, you're done. I think that he was the major enemy, but he died pretty quickly. But yeah, he had about the same health as us. All of our allies make us like near impossible to kill. Yeah, we just we just won that. Just do our due diligence. I think you can go down here. Can't go in those. So that's like a like an empty space off the map. Your glory rises. We'll get more wood power. Ratman Peltist. So these guys have melee weapons. Or the Ratmans have melee weapons. The Peltists are throwing weapons. So they're gonna start chucking stuff at my boy Tugar. Tugar is leveled up too. Tugar is a higher level. Interesting. We'll be able to level up soon too. Get something useful. Tugar! Get out of there, buddy! No, he's fine. He's got like three times more health than me. These pelters are like fucking us up though. Yeah, get fucked. Uh, let's check our powers so we could upgrade or we could keep going down our path. Summons a number of skeleton warriors and skeleton archers. That's gonna cost three to learn. I'd want that one. I think we inadvertently created a decent character class. Because he seems to be pretty open, Pesic here. He's just like, he's like an open character. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, how you feeling, dog? Oh, we just got blighted. We are getting real blighted. Excuse me, I need to go this way. Thank you. Get that guy. We're getting fucking destroyed right there. Level up again. We'll do another one of these so 1% chance of, to recover from each harmful effect. Okay. I just wanted to see really quick like what the other benefits are. Yeah, we heal so fast. Oh, mama. Zombie horde, get them. We have like 10 willpower. And we have skeleton, skeleton archers too. Yes. Yes. Easy. It's hard to tell what's going on. If you, and if you can't tell, I'm sorry. But basically, we have a army of boys. These green blight priests. Our boy Tugar. And our two nomads who come with us naturally. We have seven other spots for allies. And I think that I'm pretty sure the Blight Priests are the ones that are making the, like, cadavers. These. Oh, now we've got skeleton archers and warriors. So he does 160 slash damage. This dude does 90. So the second he gets up there, watch. Oh, come on, skelly boy. Get up in there. Oh, they didn't even get a chance. What does he do? He does 80 death. Interesting, the skeleton does like just physical damage. Zendik. There he is. Hit him with your flash. Ah, uh, Tugar killed him. Motherfucker does 370 damage. Blunt. I don't even know what Tugar is. The Burrow King rises from his pile of dung. Squeak, squeak. Such horrific nobility. Upgrade your nobility, your willpower. Kill this herd guard. Kill everyone and anyone who dares challenge us. We've got room for two more allies. One more ally. This dude should be like cutting up down. Is his accuracy any good? Where's his accuracy? Uh, 150. 
You have better accuracy than me. Why aren't you fucking destroying those Urka guards? Urka guards. The Rat King. Burrow King comes. 3,000 health. Oh god, we're moving back. Pick up the bone skirt. I'm moving away. Get the heck back. Boils. Hold your ground. We need a fucking Kurga. Turk. Tuga. There's so many different names I'm losing track. Tuger, you need to go out there, man. Wait. Did this Skelly Boy? I think the Skelly Boy just sliced that fucking. Holy crap. He just sliced that motherfucker up. So we got a Golden Axe. We got a Taurus Helm. A Blight Saber. And an Emerald Curious. Let's go into our inventory. So. The bone skirt is good for dealing blood and resisting death. We may as well wear it because we don't have anything like specific to our our class like that. And we're just gonna sacrifice that. Um, golden axe. It just seems to be a pretty strong weapon overall. Oops, did not mean to do that. We're going to sacrifice that. Taurus helm. Good armor on adjacent shrug off, perform an extra attack against the attacker. So we may as well wear this and then the blight saber. We're not going to use blight and the emerald curious deal poison damage to the attacker. I'm going to sacrifice that too. I don't know what that does for us. But, I don't give a fuck. We want to deal blood. So we'll do hemokinesis as well. After. When we've got time. Or money. Or points, I should say. Sorry. We pass through the green tower. And I think that's a good point to say. That's the end of this episode. This is a fucking really cool game. I'm really interested in it. I'm starting to pick up like what it is I'm doing. Like where I'm trying to go with my character. Look at this fucking... Look at those abs, man. Look at that helmet. The bone skirt, too. Sexy. Pesic, the Strand, Emir of Ashem. Of Day 3, Land of Akra. First Cycle of Humility. What a fucking game. I am level 8. I will probably play the fucking shit out of this game. Just as much as songs, just expect more. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.